What has been my number one challenge with a green screen? Man, this has been difficult and I hope it helps make it easier for you. Here's my number one challenge for a green screen. It's been getting it to perfectly fade out the green without screwing up how I look. The key to doing this is to getting the exact right color. So in Wirecast, here's how you go pick the color. It's got the chroma key option in the upper left over here. And then what you need to do is get the exact right color. And when you get the exact right green color, it will fade everything out correctly without making it look distorted. For some reason, this, I don't not, I don't even remember how I picked this. It was just in somehow. This color has worked perfect for me. It's D3 Feed. D3 Feed. Now, this exact color will depend on the lighting you've got. It'll depend on the exact green screen you've got, and it'll depend on the pigment of your skin and potentially the shirt you're wearing and your hair or any makeup or costumes or whatever. For me, this one has worked perfectly, the number D3 Feed. Now, what you can do to experiment you can pick a color with the mouse. So you can just click pick a color with the mouse and then you can test out different colors to see which one looks the best. Now what's really nice with Wirecast is you can just do this once. You just put the color in there and do it one time and then it's there indefinitely. You don't have to go through and pick a color every time you use the software and then render the video. It's just automatically recorded with the chroma key in. That's why I love Wirecast so much because it just makes this whole process so fast. Every, all I do, I literally hit this record button up here. It records the video. The chroma key is just right. I can move my face around wherever I want and it just stays like that. Now with each of these, you've got the key threshold here, meaning, you, you adjust the key threshold. I don't remember what these are in case I mess them up. So you, you got the key threshold. Now you can turn the key threshold up or down. So if you turn the key threshold up a lot, that can impact what it looks like. Now if you've got your color picked correctly, it shouldn't matter too much. But you see then if you turn the key threshold down to zero, it brings the green screen back. The ideal number you want to get with the key thresholds to put it to the point where it gets the exact right amount of green cut out, but then doesn't distort any. Now this lighting is just working so good, even cranking the key threshold up all the way is not messing it up. But if I pick a different color with it, that'll be a different story. Also, you can use black clip. Black clip essentially goes at the dark end of the green, hence the black clip. And you can see as I play with it, how it comes in and out here. So I turn the black clip down, to zero and it cuts out all the black. And then when I turn it up, you can see how the black comes back in. And this will show you how your lighting is too because with perfectly even lighting, it w should fade out all nicely at once. So you can see my lighting's pretty good because it fades all out together, but it's still, it's lit more at the, at the top than at the bottom. So when I black clip it, it fades from top to bottom because there's more white at the top. Now the opposite's true if you use white. So if I use a white clip, you can see it fades from the opposite direction because there's more white at the top of my screen. It's still pretty even though. If you mess with these too much, you'll get distorted effects on your face. You'll get distorted effects on your shirt and it'll look all messed up. So if you really want to, I think it was at 225, if you really want to have a good time with it, then what you can do, you can pick the color feed with the mouse. So you can turn off, if you turn off the chroma key, then it turns it off. You can see what it looks like. Now if you click chroma key, you can pick the color with the mouse, D3 feed. You can pick whatever color you pick makes a big difference on how the green screen looks. So if I go in and you can pick a color this way, or you can just try and pick a color with the mouse and it will, it will do it off that. So mine, if I turn the lights off, we can make this more interesting. You'll see you'll see what happens when it gets distorted a bit. You'll see how my face distorted there. If I mess with the key threshold, it, it ends up looking different in there. 
it mess with the black clip, the white clip. You can get it looking all distorted if you do that. And then if you like get the camera adjusts a little bit, the, the, the this can just be a disaster sometimes. So what I do, I just leave it. I, I look, I get the lighting set up exactly correct. You can see how easy it is to distort. But Wirecast is really good once you get it set properly, once you've got the color in there properly, and you've got the right balance of black and white and key threshold, you can just leave it there and everything will just look nice. I have spent probably 20 to 50 hours over the years fooling around with this. And I hope this is helpful for you to just get this set up because it's so annoying. It's like, who do you learn from? Uh, how, who will tell you how to do this? Well, I've got this in there now. It works and it's all set up right. So if you hit, if you hit defaults, if you mess it up, you can see what happens. So if I pick a different green color, it screws the whole thing up in here. You see that it, when I hit defaults, it messes that whole color up and then everything's all screwed up from there. You got the, the screen doesn't look right anymore and then you gotta try and go in, pick a different green and then you try and use that different green but then that doesn't work very well either. Then you're messing with a key threshold which this, if you put the key threshold up all the way, works but it's likely to distort the face if you do that and it's just, this is, can be such a pain as you can see. You know you've got the wrong color if you've got your key threshold at like 13 or something here and it's not doing anything. So if you just play around with the colors, you want to get the color as close as possible to your screen. So one thing you can do, you can literally just grab the color. You can just take a screenshot of the color. You can pick the exact color off of a, a, a dropper. I don't know, the pick color with the mouse should be doing that, but it's not for some reason. So what you can do, you can pick a dropper off the exact color. You can then use that color and you can see using that color made a big difference. The problem is the color, you, you can see there's green distortion in the background now. There's a little bit of green distortion on this. And then when you've got that little bit of green distortion on it, it doesn't look right. So you gotta pick the exact right color and it, it can take some time to just pick that exact right color. Just try color after color until it, it just looks right. Once you get the right color, it will look right. And then the lighting will be beautiful. And then once you've got that right color, you're all set. You don't need to touch it again, just leave it and it's perfect. And you can even, if you memorize, there's lots of different colors that can work. So I put this different color in and even though those two greens that I just put in are really different colors, they still both work. So I'm very grateful to have this to share with you today. I've worked so much on this over the years. It really can be so easy. You never have to struggle with doing a green screen again. When you get these right, you get the lighting right, you get the screen behind you, get something that's not too wrinkled or or distorted or shadowy that's a consistent color you get that right and then you test it out with different shirts test it out with different hairdos or whatever you pick out that exact right color or color from the spectrum you get the usually the default key threshold should work good you use the chroma key and bam you've got it you're good you don't ever have to struggle again with the chroma key. I love you, you're awesome. I appreciate you watching this tutorial with me and I hope this is helpful for you. Where, where, all right. It, it.